been wanting to pull out this little guy over here. So I made a couple of these little zoetrope type things and it's like an animation device. So you put your little animation, you do it in frames across here and then you set it in there and then you spin this thing and you look through the little slits here and then it makes like a stop motion sort of thing. And so I wanted to tinker around a little bit more with that. I've been wanting to make a more sturdy version. This is just made out of paper and a little bit of mat board on the bottom. And I had a stick that went underneath. The thing is, um, the mat board is very much so ripping, so it doesn't wanna really do, but you just spin it like this. And then you can look and see the animation. I think I have an animation in here. That kind of works. So I want to build a much, eventually build a much larger version of this out of a treadle sewing machine. The one that you pump with your feet and have it be like a really large wooden one that you kind of like sit down at and pump with your feet and it gets it to spin and then you can change out instead of having these long tapes it would be um individually painted wood planks that you slide in as frames i said this before and i'll say it again i am the worst at articulating my ideas <laughs> i'm more of a like let me just do it and i'll show you later so yeah that's what i'd like to do down the line i don't have a treadle treadle is it treadle 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 I don't know. One of the pump sewing machines, the old school types. I don't have one of those. I know that I've looked on Craigslist before and people sell, you know, broken parts of them. And that's all I really need. I just need the, the base of it. I don't need the actual sewing machine itself. I've sketched out some ideas, but I'm a pretty good builder of things. I'm just not a very practiced engineer or whatever you would call it for um, i haven't built machines really it's a very basic machine but you know just having a, a series of what do you call them <sighs> words escape me every day gears am i thinking of gears why am i not thinking it's gears anyway things to make it turn and spin so you'd have to have if the sewing machine is pumping like this and you've got the stick that goes up and it kind of goes in this motion to spin the upper thing. I'd want it to have teeth on it that catch the bottom. So the bottom would have teeth around here and then the round thing here would have teeth and as it spins it would turn this. That's my idea. I just don't know how to do it necessarily and with what materials I would need like like I would want to make like a model one maybe like just out of wood just because it's a material that I'm more familiar with and comfortable with working with and then eventually like if I do the the sewing machine one I'd want it to be a little bit more hefty maybe metal mechanisms and then a lighter weight because the thing's gonna be huge and I want it to be lightweight so it's easy to spin and if it for some reason pops off <laughs> and that's the other thing like if it's spinning it needs like a central thing that will hold it there and allow it to, to free spin, but not fly off. So it's gotta be secure. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. I just have sketched up some ideas and I think I had sketched up an idea, but it was like a solid pull. I'm like, well, that's not gonna spin at all. <laughs> what the hell am I even thinking? That was a dumb sketch. So yeah, maybe next week that is what I'll pick up on. I don't know. I usually just, whatever I feel like working on is what I'll work on. Maybe doing a zoetrope, maybe doing some egg tempera scraping again. Okay, bye.